You are the uh, personification of what show business is supposed to be. <laughs> you're, you're, you're talented, uh, you're smart, you're uh, lovely, you're personable, and you're eager to perform. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. That's very kind of you to say. I, I, uh, Smith, well, thank you. <laughs> what do you, now when, uh, people have been uh, bombarding me with this question. It's driving mm -hmm. me nuts. When you, you don't have a regular job, yeah. then what is your life? I'm, I'm looking at it like it's just a, a chasm. A, yeah. an, an empty, empty chasm. Well, I was thinking about you this week because I was thinking you're going to retire, and I've had this in miniature form. I, I did a show. We did 30 Rock, and the show ended, and I yeah. had the experience of, of stopping. Um, and it's weird at first. The one thing I will warn you about is that all the things that you got out of doing because you were working all the time mm -hmm. are going to come haunt you now. Oh, no. So, like, <laughs> uh, like parent-teacher, uh, conferences, right. uh, curriculum night, mm. um, uh, going to your niece's wedding, all that <laughs> stuff. You're gonna do that. Now. Like, did you, you, you know, if you get anything in the mail that says like, will you host a gala? Oh no. Just drink dish soap. Just do, <laughs> do. If you Go get right anything that says soap. gala on it, <laughs> drink like contact lens fluid, anything <laughs> to get yourself in the hospital. New York City seems to be the home of the gala. Yeah. Uh, official or unofficial, big yes. or little, there's a gala. Every night. And I, and I was thinking about it, uh, the, the big metropolitan yeah. gala. Yeah, you're going to have to go to that next thinking, year. I've never been invited you're to that You're going next thing. year. Now, have I missed anything? No, next year you're going. You're going to put a solid, big old like salad bowl on your head. And you're you got to go. go. You've been there. You I, know what it is. I, did. I didn't go this year. I have gone to it once, and it is... Such a jerk parade. Like, you cannot even. <laughs> that's, that's it is just so great. unbelievable. That is so nice. It's that's be great. It's beautiful, and then clearly I'll never go again. But you go and you go into this beautiful space, and it's just every jerk from every walk of life <laughs> is there wearing like some stupid thing, and you walk at these huge steps. And, uh, and I went and I dragged my husband along with me too, which I'm still uh, in trouble for. And we were going, and it's, the Met's beautiful, we all these people on cameras, and we walked down this big long hallway, and we were walking about 10 feet behind this very famous, famously mean fashion designer. And I was like, my husband, I'm like, oh, that's, you know, that guy. And, we're, and, uh, and they had these, what I thought were sort of guards lining the hallway, because they were in these uniforms. And if you look carefully, they weren't guards, they were just sort of beautiful boys in weird outfits, so I was like, okay. And then, so we're walking in behind this like <laughs> famous guy in this empty hallway going to the thing, and uh, then I realized that we were about 10 feet behind him, and we just walked into just a fart cloud. Just um, <laughs> this, this famous man. <laughs> just the most toxic, toxic gas that you could put. I was like, oh, this is, this is the insides of a terrible person coming out. <laughs> And we walked with that, and I sort of got the giggles, and then I looked over at the, the guard boys, and they were kind of like giggling in their sort of vaguely fascist uniforms, and and, this, and then vaguely we, fascist. Vaguely fascist. Mm -hmm. And then we sat down at this long table, and it's, it's just everybody. It's everybody. If you had a million arms, and all the people you would punch in the whole world, they're all there. And um, names? Any names? I couldn't come to possibly. Mind? They're wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was there. Clearly, I was one of them. But there was, I was then, so I sit down, and then I'm sitting next to like another famous guy who's like a CEO guy. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, not Donald Trump, because um, he's the most famous here. Uh, although he was there, and he was kind of like dancing in his seat. Oh, um, dancing so, in his seat! Yikes! <laughs> but I look at him, this famous CEO guy's talking to me, and I think perhaps he was on ecstasy because he, I didn't know him, and he just reached over and started touching my hair. <laughs> and I was like, this is like famous, like a businessman. Like, what is this? gig, like what is this? Yeah. So I got up and I was like, I'm just gonna walk around and do a lap and try to see if I know anybody at this thing. And, and I walked around and it was really, it is like Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Brian Williams. It's just like every person in the world. And I, the person that I saw that I was like, there, uh, you know what, there's somebody cool that like, I can just sit in the corner and relax with. There's somebody normal. And just to give you an idea of how weird that event is, like the person that I saw, like, ah, I'll go talk to her, was Barbara Walters. <laughs> Pretty and good. I just tried to like hang out with Barbara Walters. Today. I'm not going. I'm not going. You're I, going I, next year. You're going to no, wear no, a red going. leather now, how, dress. Uh, earlier on in the discussion, you described it as what kind of a parade? Jerk it's, parade. It's a jerk parade. <laughs> we'll get that right up to the Met. What was a big, big deal? Uh, and and I, I hope people understand how big a deal this was with the SNL. Uh, 
40th anniversary? Oh, yeah, we had the, the 40th anniversary of SNL. It? it was a big deal. Television, yeah. yeah. And the people who have, yeah. have worked there, yourself and many, many others. Everybody who ever hosted, uh, you know, every, uh, pretty much almost every cast member, I think, made it back. And I was, uh, I wanted to, I worked on the SNL 25th anniversary. I think it was one of the first things I was head writer for. And so I really wanted to help out again with the 40th, but I was away. Uh, I was doing a movie in Albuquerque. Um, and so, or so they believed. Uh, but um, <laughs> I was. Um, and, and I was really wishing I could be there to help, but I kept getting these calls. I was trying to help, and they're like, great news, the show was going to be three hours. Now it's going to be three and a half hours oh long. I said, like, oh my God, I was yeah. getting so nervous because it was a show that everyone rehearsed their stuff separately. It was never rehearsed together. And it's live. And it's live TV. And, um, and I just, and also I thought, well, the, and the whole audience is movie stars. And I just thought, well, movie stars, they're not going to sit still that long. No. I kept, I was like, they're going to leave. They're going to go to dinner. They're <laughs> like, there's really selfish people, and they're going to cut to the audience. They're doing sketches, and they'll cut to the audience. They'll just be like chairs <laughs> and a lost purse. But it didn't. The show was great. Yes. Uh, the SNL team are and so whipped, amazing. And whipped right through it. Whipped right through it. They got a three-and-a-half-hour show in exactly to time. That's remarkable. That really was. And yeah. very entertaining. It was a good and, show. and great fun. Yeah. Good for you. And uh, can I ask how the kids are? Please do, because how, how? When are we ever going to talk about this again? So yes, the kids. Well, it's <laughs> a big Met Gala next year, of course. <laughs> um, the kids are good. They, um, the little one is three and a half now, and she's maybe coming out of not being a jerk all the time. Like she's. Oh, I remember you said that there was some sort of a reflexive anger. Yeah, that she's you very quick to anger. Like you ask her anything, and her answer is usually is no, never. And you're like, mm -hmm. okay, that's like that's like your baseline is no, never. No, never. Yeah. Um, she did throw a pretty amazing tantrum in. We were in Albuquerque. They were visiting me, and my husband was he. I was working, so he took him around all day. Took everybody to the zoo and long morning, and then he was trying to get her home, and and he said she just threw like a literally like a 40 minute fit. Uh, wouldn't, they couldn't go home because she was insisting that she wanted to drive. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, the, the three and a half year old wanted to drive. She wanted to drive. to drive like an Escalade. She's like, I'm strong enough. <laughs> Has she driven much? Not that I know of. <laughs> I was like, you should have turned it on. Like, she could never reach it. But he said he had to wrestle her into the back. But she's getting a little sweeter. She's getting into the cute, like, girly mm -hmm. like, age where they like princesses. Princesses, and, tea parties. Yeah, nail makeup. Polish. Like, I was putting makeup on uh, a little bit the other day, and she was like, I want some makeup. And I said, okay, you can have a little, you know, yeah. my makeup home's like colored chapstick, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving her a little makeup, and you, you, they get really excited. And the toddlers, they they get they try to start a sentence, and they get stuck in it. You remember this when they go like, Mommy, I want, Mommy, I. Look, mommy, I look pretty. You, the, mommy, and then feeling, like, you get it, you'll get it out. And then finally she goes, Mommy, I, I look prettier than you. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Fine. You're That's three. Fine. I'm 44. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a contest. Now, now uh, selfishly, uh, and be, be ha on behalf of every parent alive, yep. when you get to that moment when the kid wants to drive the Cadillac Escalade home, <laughs> yeah. and the kid is three and a half, yep. and there's a fit. Yeah. How do you d d disconnect that? What it's circuitry so do you throw? Hard. You do. It? You have to. Uh, you, they always say you cannot let it work, right? Because if the fit works, then they'll throw a fit all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I have, on many occasions, carried her mm -hmm. sideways, yeah. like a plank. I carried her down the streets of Albuquerque, screaming, screaming and kicking. Yeah, yeah. past her, like a bunch of mariachis, like <laughs> just like screaming. <laughs> Because it can't work. That's the no, only thing I know. You can't let it work. But what, now, I don't know what your life was like as a kid, but my life as a kid was, uh, if I even got close to pulling that, oh, yeah. they grab me, and no, 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 and then take me and throw me in the car and we go wherever we're going, yeah. or I'm going to get spanked. One of the yeah, two things. it's such a weird. I never would have dared to no, no, uh, act yeah. up like that. I, I, don't I, know did, what I didn't wrong. have an opinion until I was 20. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's the way they work that. Yeah. You know, let, let me ask you something, and, and, uh, um, and forgive me if this sounds indelicate, <laughs> but, but you just look wonderful. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. This is, um... That's a beautiful dress. Thank you. It's a beautiful dress. I, you know, it was not actually lost on me because I always, uh, I've been here 20 times, apparently. Wow. I've been on the show 20 Great. times. Good for you. Good for thank me. you. Because, um... Because I live nearby and people cancel a lot. <laughs> um.
<laughs> but uh, I, I realized that when you retire, this, this is it. Like, I, I, I'm never gonna wear a fancy dress on no. a talk show again. Oh, don't, don't say that. No, no, because first of all, it, well, thank you, but it's, a, it's, uh, it's very hard work. If, I don't know if you're aware of the, like, the contraptions. <laughs> There's under here are like, it's almost medical. <laughs> what there's like a thing in it. Really? Yeah, and it's a lot and I'm terrible in heels and I also just realized, you know, I, I dress up like this out of respect for you. Oh God bless uh, you. I really do. Well you I mean And you know, I'm not gonna But not, for, forget me. I mean but, it's but this, just lovely. Just this, for, this is blue, it, you know, because this is like oh, something Kate you. Middleton would well, show thank up you. in. And this is it because I'm not gonna wear, you know, what am I gonna put a dress on for Jimmy? That's creepy. He's like my brother. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna wear like like special underwear for James Corden? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, you know, the next time you see me, I will be playing charades in a slanket. <laughs> but because this... Like well, now, wait a minute, you mentioned is, special underwear? This is a, what, yeah, what because... Because, thank you. <laughs> because this is, um... This is my last time wearing a fancy dress on a talk show and, and conforming to gender norms out of respect for you. Um, I, my gift to you is I want to give you uh, the dress. So you can keep it. I don't know if you can help me there. You can pull really? that. Yeah, so you can unzip it. But this is it, you know, this is. Time for another segment. <laughs>